Hi, I'm Lacoon. I'm Rifa. And both of us actually are second generation, and uh, you know we wanted to put this video together to share our experiences when we were growing up as to how we celebrated Kumar Purnima. So you know when we were much younger, um, we didn't have the luxury of many many odias all around the different communities in the southeast. We didn't have the luxury of you know, of Zoom and all these um, uh, these electronic interfaces. So. Uh, what we would literally look forward to growing up is driving hours, you know, whether it was two hours, four hours, six hours, and meeting um, in a common Odia auntie or uncle's house, uh, which is what we did, and, and to really celebrate and dress up and see one another um, and, and celebrate this very festive occasion. So when we were growing up, we didn't have the conveniences of getting a new outfit here or um, having a Patel Brothers to have the convenience of getting the Indian groceries. So our parents really preserved culture very differently for us. They were very creative. So a lot of times back then, people would go to India and bring back outfits and our parents would hold those outfits for these very special occasions so that we would have something new to wear. It wasn't that they could just run down the street and go to this Indian store and say, you need a new outfit. Also, we would get together and we would do puja and our parents would be so creative. They had no koi, so they would take sugar smack cereal and some chenna, banana, and make chanda chokota for us, put it on the plate. We would get to go outside to finish our puja. And then every Kumara Purnima, we got to sing Kumara Purnima, Kumara Purnima, so from us to you, we are wishing you a blessed and happy Kumar Purnima. Purnima.